everybody. My name's Sherry. Welcome to my Stampin' Up! workshop. So the project that I have for you today, I haven't made it yet. It's not even really in my head, <laughs> but I have this stuff on, the, on, on my table. And before I put it up, I decided I would go ahead and it's not even very well organized. I would go ahead and do one last card with the little tie-dye bits that I have and with the stamp sets that I'm featuring in my upcoming online spring, spring online retreat. It's easier when you don't have to do all these things online and you don't have to put that online word in there all the time. Um, but you know, that's the way life is. And, and going forward, I think they'll always be online. Hopefully going forward sometime in the near future, we'll, I'll be able to do an in-person component with them as well. But for right now, my spring retreat is online and I need to get moving on to my chicken class. And then next week, really, really fun butterfly Facebook event that's open to all of my customers. Um, and it's my team is participating with me. So there'll be lots of presenters and um, it's a free thing. So be watching for information on that. But I need to clean this off and I really need to get to my chickens. So I'm going to do a card and I'm going to use the stuff that's laying here, um, which I like to do. And if you follow me, you know, I like to do that. Um, but usually I've kind of at least mocked it up. I haven't even done that because I need to clean this up and move on. So we're just going to see where we go. I guess if it's a hot mess, I won't post this. <laughs> You'll never know that it happened. So the um, three sets that will be featured in my online retreat, which you don't have to buy all of them, of them. you don't have to buy any of them. Um, there's different ways that you can participate. But the first, I guess I have them in order, in order, and it's how I've come to what I'm using on this card. So all of these are posted. This is the Tranquil Thoughts, because for the retreat, it's a technique based retreat we'll be making 12 projects and we're going to be doing like watercolor resist watercolor wash the floating i call it the floating museum um frame because we went to ireland and we went to those really one of those really old museums and that's what it reminds me of um so the tranquil thoughts this one's up so i started out and i made this piece of watercolor paper so you can go see that but then um the next one is the brushed blooms so all of these stamp sets are bold images. You can see they're all bold. Nothing can be colored in. Um, and, the, and then the dies for them are also all bold. Um, so for that one, then I used the scraps that were left from that previous card. And I used those and I made these little um, roses from the brushed blooms, which is also one of the bundles that I'll be featuring. So the last one I haven't really featured much. I feel like I've used them all, but it was all in the winter retreat when I gave the girls a little sneak peek of, of what was coming. Um, so a lot of you haven't seen it if you didn't participate. So I have these two pieces of, of scrap and that's why I didn't want to do another whole card because I didn't want to use these and I didn't want to have to do another tie dye. If you haven't seen how to make these, then go back and watch one of the other two. But I didn't want to do all that again because I just wanted to do a quick card and I didn't want to end up with more scrap because I have a hard time throwing this away. So with this set, it's this, these really, really fun stamps. These are photopolymer. Um, so I I don't even know. I know I'm going to use some words. I don't know that I'll use anything else. I don't have anything mounted. I just pulled a block out. Um, but we have all this. And then the dies for this come like this. So we've got this here. I'm going to do dies first to kind of see how much I can get out of the paper. So let's move this over. I'm just going to put it on white. The last card I did on ivory. And then all of my tie-dye work I did on shimmery white. Just because it's got that lovely coating on it. And it makes the, the water resist really well when you're doing that tie-dye work. So let's do this one first because it's got the biggest pieces left. I kinda, some of these have been pulled off. I haven't even really stamped with this yet. So let's see, this one will fit. Will it fit there? Nope. It would be really easy. Here, we're just gonna turn this over and hope for the best. No. Cause then it'll kind of be backwards. We'll go there with that. Go here with this. But the nice thing about this stamp set is that you can stamp those center images in the flowers. So if I can't get them to work with this, I know that I've used up most of my greens because this has some really pretty leaves. But I think I sucked up all the green when I made the other cards. I should have put more green on my tie dye. I didn't know I'd be doing more, more cards with this one little piece. We might be able to get some green over here. And you know, in the um, floral card world, 
Your leaves don't have to be green. They can be whatever color you can make them fit, right? We have all this too. There's a little bit of green there, but I'm gonna try to get it all on here. Let's see if we can squish it all on here. So let's try this. That may be enough. I'm gonna go for another light and airy card. If I have more time, then we could, um, we could get more on here. There's definitely more room. But this should work. I have, um, I did the the tie dye on one of the cards with my blending brushes, which are in back order, but they'll be back. So I have those here because if my card's a little bit too white, then I can add some color that way, or we can add some color with the stamps. I'm just not sure what we want to do yet. So we've got this. Should put all these back on here since I'm not sure what I just used. Put this on here. So you can see these cut out like this. Um, you could piece it back together. How fun is that? And then we've got our leaves. We probably cut out all the green parts. Oh, this one didn't. So we've got that. Um, I already foresee if you're taking the class, you're getting some spritzers. If you're doing the retreat and there will be some masking work that we'll be able to do with this one so it's going to be a super fun retreat there is not going to be any stamping and coloring because none of these sets do that so let's get our little white piece here and then you can see we can kind of make this work i think i'm going to add just a little bit the sea film is what i used on the other one but I don't have one of my blending brushes that was seafoam because I didn't use seafoam on that one. So let's just get, and you know what? The thing that is really, really convenient, I don't have it laying here because I wasn't gonna use it. This is what happens when you're not very organized. Here it is. I have it here, it's just under my pileys. The other thing, now somebody's gonna see this on Instagram and ask why I used it. And um, the other thing that's really good for the Stamparatus, I've been using it because these plates are just wonderful to work with. But they're also great for like getting this ink off the side and then pulling it onto your, um, when you're using the blending brushes. Cause it does, it has that nice edge and it like you can pull the ink back off the plate. It doesn't give you, if you're doing it on scrap paper, then the ink just also goes on the paper. This then pulls it off. So let's add just that little hint of green since we didn't get much in the way of leaves. I'm just gonna put my big one on here. That will help us work with size. This is kind of how you design a card as well. We don't need all the pieces on there until we've decided what we wanna do. And we have these two little leaves, but look at all the fun little leaves in here. So let's take So we have the same colors of ink laying here that we have on our exact flower because that's what I used them with. Um, I'm gonna put our words on here first so we know where our words are going. So let's do happy. And I think I'll do those in the purple. So I have blackberry, it's a nice bold color. on there nice and well this is a super fun it's a super happy stamp set and it will provide a lot of the words for our other ones in um i did not get a anything to clean those with and i have so many i have butterflies on blocks i have chickens on blocks i have um Tranquil thoughts on blocks. So I have so many things on blocks that I don't have very, I think I'll do this in eggplant too, or blackberry too. If you've been around a while, then you might think it's eggplant as well. Let's do happy. Um, you can do, you make me happy. You can do sending lots of happy mail. Let's just do happy birthday. And, uh, I might be able to make it fit on here. 
it's either a little too small or a little bit too large because all of my other blocks are taken. So let's do happy birthday. That's just fun on its own, isn't it? We may not need a leaf. But I think I do. I think I just want that little, little more touch of green in the same color. So let's get, I'm gonna do this big one. It's kind of a flower, but it's also kind of a leaf. You could just also put some dots on here. So it's lots of dots that can be um, centers of flowers or you can use them as dots. But we're gonna go with this, which could be a burst of flowers. Ours is going to stand in for a leaf. So I'm gonna put this here. And one here. And then let's just stick all this together and see where we're at. So let's put this let's do kind of catty corner so those are going off the edges. this can go off because I've cut this to be um, my card is a little bit smaller than a quarter of an inch smaller because I wanted to have that extra space. I'm just going to layer this right over those other leaves just so it looks like all the leaves are there. Like that. And then these are the same embellishments that I used the last time around and I think that we can make those work again. I think I'm gonna go strong purple. I think that's the grape. And then I'm just gonna mount it on a piece of white cardstock. I do have some ribbon laying here. I pulled out the blackberry ribbon that's from the ice cream suite if we want to add ribbon, but it, we may not need it. There may be enough of the flower on its own. It needs a little something, something. So I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this piece of the card, which a lot of it is, you know, it's gonna get covered up. We just saw that and now I need some scrap paper. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take the, the front of this and then I'm gonna take my blackberry, my dark blackberry blend. blending brushes. I'm gonna open it. I didn't really want to open it because I didn't want it on both sides, but I didn't use my can we get it on these edges first and then see if we need it on the whole card. So now it's just not white. I think I'm gonna put it on the whole card, but I'm gonna be a little bit more controlled. Get some there. Sometimes I let it go everywhere, but I want to keep that little corner up there as wide as I can and kind of keep it not on my flower. Not that it matters so much when it's tie-dye. That kind of filled in the white. There was a little bit too not, there's a little too much white for me. I should have just got my bone folder and smashed that. Now we need some dimensionals, which are still laying here. I am going to be a little bit happy when I clean this mess up. Um, to get going back on my chicken cards because I need to start filming. I have some of them done, some of them are in my head, and some of them are sitting there ready to be filmed. So I have a little um, chicken coop, I guess, <laughs> into my corner to my right. Let's stick this on here. There we go. Super easy. I'm actually pleased with it. Sometimes they aren't as hard as what we like to make them be. But I do have, because some of these dies are little, um, there is enough that we could, we could come up with a little bit more. But I think because of time, sometimes, 
Well, it sucked. Sometimes I make myself throw this stuff away. I'm like, you just got, you just got to get rid of it, or else I would mess with it forever. So let's let's look at the ones. I mean, this way you'll get to see the cards again from the progression, but you'll also get to see the three sets that are featured if I can move all this stuff. So that is the pretty perennials because when you do the when you do the retreat, you can um, pick the the kit that has all three bundles, or you can pick one. Um, there's two different ways that you can do it because I will show you the 12 cards will be featured. We'll do um, all three sets will have four projects and then I will show you some alternates and on the alternate I will take like if it was a pretty perennial card and those are the supplies that you got for that then I will use the exact same supplies and do it with one of the other sets. So you'll get some of the ideas but here's the tranquil thoughts and the brushed blooms and the so, dimensional cover. Those end up everywhere and the tranquil thoughts. So if you have any questions about it, all of the details are on my website and now I'm off to see my chickens. Everybody have a great weekend. Bye.